welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me on my flower tangent today. I'm excited about this one because it's something different. I say that a lot, I know, but I'm always doing different things. What can I say? Anywho, um, I only have two types of flowers today, so it's super simple and they're really common flowers, so you should be able to find them anywhere. Normally, I get my flowers at Trader Joe's, as you know, but today, I got my flowers at Whole Foods because I was at a Whole Foods and I, of course, looked at the flowers and saw these beauties and decided to get them. Also, I'll share with you this super funky trick that I learned from the episode of Full Bloom on HBO Max that I've been watching that you should watch if you haven't already. The container that I'm using is this really cool margarita pitcher. I mean, it could be used for whatever, right? But it's I've had it forever. I don't even remember where I got it. I think Pier One, something like that. Anyways, I got the little cup that goes along with it and I'll just maybe put a couple flowers in it when I'm done or put a margarita in it. We'll see how it goes. Cheers. Get your margaritas people and watch this episode. All right, I'll set that aside for later. The packet of floral food that you get when you buy a bunch of flowers from a grocery store Normally, we just open it and dump it in the water, right? And sometimes I'm fearful of doing that because I do believe it clouds up the water a tiny bit. And so if I want my water crystal clear, I'll leave it out. But it depends on what the occasion is and who it's for and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, you're not really supposed to put the whole packet in, I learned on that show. They put like a quarter of the packet in and then every day or every other day when you're supposed to change the water, you put some more of the packet in. And so it lasts you a lot longer and you don't need it all right away. Okay. Here's the flowers that I got today. Two types of flowers, a couple different colors. I got Alstroemeria, which I've used many times before. I got it in this purple color, which is really pretty. I got it in a yellow color, as you see here. And I got it in this reddish color. They're really hardy and they take up a lot of space. So that's why I like using them. Then I just got two different colors of tulips. These purple tulips. And of course, my fave color is coral color tulip. Yeah. I think I'm gonna make like a base with my Elstromeria, and then I'm gonna show you something funky to do with the tulips and make these be kind of the sticky outy random flowers that maybe will look like butterflies, people. Let's see. I think I'm gonna clump them in groups of colors. So I have three different colors. So I'm gonna make a triangle of the colors and color block them. And I'm gonna let the tulips shine into their glorious sun rays. Cut your greens off, your leaves on the bottom so they don't get bacteria and rot in the water. Okay, that one was kind of short. <laughs> Measure up against your container and stop talking and then cut so you cut the right length instead of talking and then you get it too short. So I have all the colors put in of the Alstroemeria and I kind of made it a little bit oblong shape. It seems to be my favorite shape these days. And so now let me show you what I'm gonna do with these tulips. Something called reflexing the tulips. And you could do it with roses and orchids, things, those type of flowers, you can reflex them. Carefully take the petals of the tulips and vert the petals by pushing them the opposite way that they naturally go. So you're inverting the petals very carefully, softly, and then it just opens the flower up. Let's see if this works when I do it. They make it look so easy. 
It's closing up like it doesn't like to be reflexed. <laughs> Let me try with the purple one. Take two. Okay, let's see. Carefully fold the petals down. And then this is so cool because then you get to see the color inside the tulips. So it's super funky looking. I'll show you in a second. Carefully. Almost makes it look like an iris, I think. It's a purple one. Look at, look at the tulip now. Look at the blue in there. You couldn't see that before when they were closed. So I think it kind of looks like a butterfly. That's my story and I'm sticking to it, people. I've also learned on the show that they do a lot of storytelling with their flower arranging, which is super cool. Oh no. Low budget filming here. Oh no, I think I cut it too short. Let's see how this goes. Well, I'm gonna do some down low because the butterflies kind of live at the bottom of this little Alstromeria world garden and then they're gonna fly up. done. It's just a wild and crazy kind of arrangement for my dining table. This one, there's a story about the butterfly garden of Alstromeria. Anywho, I had fun sharing this story and uh, experimenting with you today. Try it. It's fun. You'll like it. I hope you go buy some tulips from Alstromeria. You should find them almost anywhere, almost all year round. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching today and have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.